Carol has such an artistic eye and a total flair. There's no one look. Whether you're edgy or conservative or preppy or classic, you can find the right little cabby outfit to express who you are. When I got to go to the corporate event called The Scoop, and I saw the caliber of women, the caliber of the company, I was like, oh my God, I am so onto something here. Cabby does such an amazing job training you that even if you feel like you don't have all the tools, Cabby will help you get all the tools. We have tried to make efficiencies of time and resources so that you are really putting as much money in your pocket on an hourly basis as you possibly can. That is our intent and purpose as we go into every season always trying to make it better. In my life before Cabby, I used to go in and out of companies, literally hundreds of companies around the country, and in moments feel the culture of that company. And I'll never forget the day when Jan and Carol first talked to me about joining them in this great venture. And I thought, wow, an opportunity to actually create something that was different. The idea that we would get to know people, not just for the sake of transaction, but for the sake of transformation. When I was a you know, top seller, I had a lot of support and encouragement from the home office, and it was just really motivating. But then when I had a difficult pregnancy and then a newborn baby, I was really blown away by having the same support and encouragement from the home office. It really s spoke to me about what kind of company Cabby is. My kiss. I always tell the women at my shows, I want you to sit back, relax, and just have fun with your friends. This is all about flattering clothes. I'm gonna give you all the tips and the tricks of the season. You're gonna learn all about the new trends and you're gonna feel so different about yourself. This is not just about shopping. The real secret is that cabby parties are fun. Probably one of the biggest compliments somebody can give me at a show is um, you'll hear them over talking to each other and they'll say, Paula will be honest with you or she's not out to make a sale. They know that what I'm trying to do is help them find something that works really well for them. You too. When I was doing a show at a friend's home and one of the guests had just undergone a double mastectomy, she was a breast cancer survivor. You could tell she was a, so a little nervous about trying on the clothes in front of people and she had gone, she took a couple of pieces into the powder room to try them on, and when she came out, she, she looked a little shy, but everybody just kind of surrounded her and almost enveloped her and just, you know, oohed and awed and, and told her how wonderful she, she looked, and she did. She looked absolutely beautiful, and I was like, wow, this is amazing. This is what Cabby does. Fall of 2008, the stock market crashed, and my husband and I were looking at our finances, and our retirement was just going through the floor. Both of the kids were in college, so it was really a time that I thought, you know, I can really contribute to rebuilding our finances. So I decided to take up this wonderful fashion career in Cabbie and combine a job with having a whole lot more fun in life. I see women who were empty nesters and needed something to sort of give their life a purpose. Um, teachers who need a little extra income, women who are newly divorced and need to replace an entire income, a, a large income, me who just needed a, a chance to get out and experience the girl side of life. I thought, you know what, I'm needing extra income, I'm going to look into it and just give it a shot. And little did I know that just a couple years later, I would be a single parent myself with Cabby being my sole income and providing everything for my family. I get to walk my daughter to the bus stop every morning. I'm the first face she sees when she gets off the bus in the afternoon. It just gives us an opportunity to have that mom and daughter time, anytime. My kids say, Mommy, how long are you going to sell cabby clothes? And I say, until you're out of college. So I got a ways to go, and I would love uh, to, to do cabby for many years to come. We found out recently that my husband lost his job in corporate America, and 
As a result, Cabby's going to take, I think, a much greater role for our family in terms of helping to support us. And I just really think it's going to be what's going to sustain us kind of in the long haul. This is what I'm considering as my legacy because this is something I'm leaving for my daughters as a role model on how to be um, a successful woman and a successful businesswoman. I was really surprised because I wasn't sure when I first looked at Cabby whether or not I could replace my six-figure income and I was happily surprised that I could and it didn't take me too long either. Cabby stands for Carol Anderson by invitation. You know, I tell people that, you know, I, I spent my 20s in suits in corporate America. I spent, you know, my 30s in, in sweatpants and nursing bras with my kids. And then in my 40s, I just said, you know, I want to be fabulous. And I feel like Cabby's helping me do just that. <laughs>